Hi, folks. Welcome back to Databricks. I'm Eric Peter, the PM for Agent Evaluation and Framework. We are excited to announce Agent Evaluation's new synthetic data capabilities available today. We've designed this capability to help developers improve the quality of their AI agents. Specifically, this product addresses a key challenge that we've heard from many customers. It's a difficult and time-consuming process to have subject matter experts label high-quality evaluation data. However, without this data, it's difficult to evaluate and improve agent quality to reach production quality targets. Our synthetic data API allows developers to overcome these challenges by generating a high quality evaluation data set in minutes. Customers who tested this capability were able to achieve 60% improvements in quality using this data before they engaged with their subject matter experts. Let's do a quick demo to show how the product works. First, I'll install Dataverse agents and MLflow. Next, I'll load my parse document corpus from a Delta table. In this case, I'll use the Databricks documentation. Next, I'll use the API to generate synthetic evaluation data. Let me quickly walk through how the API works. We've designed the API to be simple and easy to use. You pass your documents, how many evaluation questions you want, and optionally, you can pass a description of your agent and question guidelines to help tune the questions that that pipeline generates. In this case, We'll tell it that it's a chatbot that answers questions about Databricks, and the user personas, and a few example questions. Let me take this off. Now that it's finished, you can see it's taken about two minutes to generate 100 questions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the data. You can think of each row as a single, fully formed test case that allows you to assess the quality of your agent. In this case, we generated a question following the guidelines that you provided, and we identified a set of facts that must be present in the agent's response in order to accurately answer this question. These expected facts make it easier for subject matter experts to review this data down the line, and it improves the accuracy of the LLM judges that assess the quality of your agent's response. You could think of this as kind of having a digital subject matter expert at your side who can quickly give you high quality agent questions and the criteria to judge the agent's responses. Now that we have the data, let's go ahead and use it to evaluate and improve our agent's quality. Next, I'll write my agent's code. Here, I've written a function calling agent that uses a vector search retriever tool. In this case, I've used the OpenAI SDK, but I could have used any of the popular agent authoring frameworks that Databricks supports, like LangGraph, Llama Index, Autogen, and more. Let's run the agent so we can quickly understand what's happening behind the scenes. Here, we can see the MLflow trace, which provides observability in development and production. We can see the vector search retriever tool is called, as well as several calls to an LLM. Now, let's evaluate the agent. First, I'll log the agent's code and config to MLflow, so I have a copy, and I know exactly what agent has been evaluated. Next, I'll call MLflow.evaluate to run the evaluation. I'll pass in the data that I generated above, the model that I just logged, and I'll activate Databricks Mosaic AI agent evaluation proprietary LLM judges. Let's kick this off. Now that evaluation is finished, let me open the MLflow UI to look at the results. MLflow and agent evaluation assess the quality of each record in the evaluation data set and provide you an overall score of quality. In this case, we can see that 54 are passing and 46 are not high quality. Agent evaluation identifies the root cause of the quality issues. In this case, we can see that 42% of the incorrect responses are due to an issue with retrieval. Let's open up a record to see what's happening. Agent Evaluation's judges give you a written rationale for why your answer is correct or incorrect. In this case, it's identified that the ground truth, the facts that we saw earlier, required three things, but these are not present in the retrieved context. You can look through the assessments from the other judges as well and inspect each input and output. In this case, I notice that I'm only retrieving one document from my retriever. Maybe if I increase the number of documents that are coming back, I can improve quality. Let's go ahead and try that out. I'll come down here and I'll change the configuration of my agent to return five results rather than one. Let's go ahead and kick this off. Now that evaluation is finished, let's go ahead back to the MLflow UI 
to compare the results. I'll choose the previous experiment, and I can see that changing the value of k from 1 to 5 led to a 17% increase in quality, and the root cause of retrieval has gone down. I can inspect each individual record and see a side-by-side -side comparison to help me figure out what quality issue I need to fix next. Since I'm only at 70% quality, I still have a bit of a way to go, but for the purposes of this demo, I'll wrap it up here. From here, you can continue to iterate on the quality of your agent, eventually deploying it to a production-ready, highly scalable API, as well as our web-based chat UI to collect stakeholder feedback using Agent Framework's single line of code to deploy. In summary, Agent Evaluation's synthetic data capabilities allow you to accelerate your time to market by reducing the amount of time that's spent labeling data, it enables you to deliver higher ROI with less cost due to this synthetic data being able to help you increase quality at a faster pace. These capabilities are available today in public preview, as well, a link to this demo notebook if you want to try it yourself in the video comments. We're excited to see what you build. Thanks for watching.